Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. On Chairman Lopez's invitation, it is a privilege for me to stand here today within the territories of the Awaswas as a guest of the Amamutan tribal band, the caretakers of this land. As a mestizo immigrant from Central America, I come to honor the Amamutan's abiding efforts to remove the last of the El Camino Real bell markers in Santa Cruz. I will briefly talk about the history of mission bells in California and their present day relevance, uh, in fact, to my work as a music historian and as a grateful recipient of a grant from the University of California Critical Mission Studies. The Spanish have an old saying that recalls their long extinguished status as a colonial power. Spain had an empire on which the sun never set. Along these same lines, it could also be observed that Spain had an empire in which the sound of church bells never ceased. For centuries, as the sun swept slowly across the world, bringing light and warmth to all living things, the sound of bells regulated human activity. The Catholic Church controlled the ringing of bells to mark time for religious devotion and for work. The church bell represented the presence of a community around which people understood who they were in relation to the world. The sound of the church bell was synonymous with a sense of peace. This was certainly true for Spain in as much as the rest of Europe. But if we return to imagining the sun moving west across the globe, a different picture comes into focus when we arrive at the Spanish colonial settlements on the American continent. Here in California, Spanish colonization was a violent and noisy enterprise. The cannon, the musket, and the bell were deployed to establish and maintain missions, presidios, pueblos, and other settlements, while dispossessing native people of their lands and rupturing their ancient ways of being. In attempting to create a sense of, a sense of peace, the mission bells engendered an ominous sensory experience as their sight and sound accompanied the oppression and enslavement of native peoples. Yet this history faded from memory during the first decades of California's development as a state. In selecting the mission bell as their project emblem over a century ago, the El Camino Real Association of California was less concerned with the truth of mission history and more occupied with redefining the mission bell as a commercial symbol for the promotion of tourism via the state highway system. In the decades that followed, some communities across the state came to attach feelings of nostalgia to the El Camino Real bell marker, but its site only served to haunt and antagonize other communities. Far from the seemingly benign symbol replicated and installed across the state, the El Camino Real bell marker is an otherwise pernicious emblem of violence that symbolically reinvokes the horrors of Spanish colonialism. And no amount of rhetoric, action, erasure, or appropriation, regardless of their motivation, can purify the mission bell and its many representations of their violent origins in California. And in its absence, perhaps a sense of peace can finally be achieved through healing on native terms. Thank you.